Peace be upon you all. My name is Dania Jodri. Welcome to Gems of Islam, a brand new podcast on the Review of Religions channel. In this podcast, we will be sharing stories of prominent women in Islam. She was a selfless, devoted, and passionate female companion of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. Always assisted in defending and protecting our beloved master. Most importantly, she loved the Holy Prophet unconditionally. She is known as one of the bravest ladies in Islam. Her name is Hazrat Umm Umara. May Allah be pleased with her. Hazrat Umm Umara is known for protecting Prophet Muhammad in the Battle of Uhud and was immensely praised by the Holy Prophet. She fought in all battles in the lifetime of the Holy Prophet. This courageous lady was born in Medina. She belonged to a respectful family in the Medina tribe of Khizraj called Najr. The Holy Prophet was very attached to the Najr family because his great-grandmother, Hazrat Abdul Muttalib's mother, belonged to this clan. Hazrat Umm Umara first got married to her cousin, Zad bin Asim, with whom she had two sons. After her husband's demise, she got remarried to Ghazia ibn Amra. Hazrat Umm Umara accepted Islam at the time of her second marriage. Around three months before the Holy Prophet migrated to Medina from Mecca, many people traveled from Medina to Mecca with a delegation of believers who wanted to accept Islam. The delegation gathered in the Nair Valley of Aqba. In a majority male group, there were only two women present. One was Hazrat Umm Umara, and the other was Asma bint Amra. And so, out of respect and modesty, the Holy Prophet took bath, the oath of allegiance, from the two women present without holding their hands. From this delegation, Hazrat Umm Umara and her husband were one of the first people to enter Islam. The Najah family was very dear to the Holy Prophet, as he was dear to them. Hazrat Umm Umara and her family were very privileged, as the Holy Prophet once said, If I was a member of any family in Medina, it would have been the Najjar. The Holy Prophet had actually stayed in the Najjar neighborhood during his childhood with his mother, and he had very fond memories of that house. In the third year after Hijrah, the people of Medina heard the enemy of Islam, Abu Sufyan, was approaching their city with an army of 3,000 highly skilled soldiers from all over Arabia. The Meccans intended to attack Medina with an army of camels loaded with weapons. The Holy Prophet immediately instructed Muslims to prepare for war. When the women came to know about the Muslim army, a group of them, including Hazrat Umm Umara, approached the Holy Prophet and requested his permission to join the fight. They wished to participate in the war, to help the wounded and give them water. In the history of Islam, this battle will always be associated with the courage displayed by Hazrat Umm Umara. She took part in the battle of Uhud with her husband and two sons. The courage of this entire family against the attacks of the enemy was unmatched. Hazrat Umm Umara kept running between the wounded to give them water. When she saw the Holy Prophet surrounded by danger, she threw down her water pot. After grabbing a sword, she ran towards the Holy Prophet and stood in front of him to defend him against the enemy. When the Holy Prophet saw her courage, he started praying for her and kept encouraging her. Hazrat Umm Mara, who amplified the status of Muslim women by displaying immense courage in this historical battle, described this incident in her own words. She said, When chaos broke at the Battle of Uhud, there were less than 10 men left to protect the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. At that time, there were some men who panicked and ran away in front of the Holy Prophet. However, my husband, Ghazia ibn Amra, and my two sons, Abdullah and Habib, fought in front of the Holy Prophet to protect him from the enemy. In that instant, when the Holy Prophet saw me there, he noticed that I was fighting without a shield. So the Holy Prophet said to a person running off, O oh man with a shield, give your shield to someone who wants to fight before you run away. Hence, that man threw his shield on the ground, and after quickly grabbing it, I defended the Holy Prophet. The non-believers were continuously trying to overpower us, because they were on horses and we were on foot. 
There was one particular incident when one non-believer attacked Hazrat Umayyah Mara suddenly with a sword. She defended the blow with her shield, and the non-believer ran away. When he attacked her again, she stopped him with a shield against, and swung her sword with such force at the feet of his horse, that both the horse and the rider fell on the ground. The Holy Prophet witnessed this incident and asked her son, Abdullah, to go help his mother. Abdullah immediately ran to aid Hazrat Umayyah Mara and killed that non-believer. At the same time, another non-believer attacked Abdullah and wounded his left arm. Hazrat Umayyah Mara immediately put a bandage around her son's wound and said, Son, go fight till your last breath. When the Holy Prophet saw her sacrifice, he said, O Umayyah Mara, no one has the strength you possess. By the end of this battle, Hazrat Umayyah Mara had wounds in 12 different places and was bleeding. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, got a bandaged under his supervision. Proclaiming the names of many brave Muslim men, he said, By God, today Umayyah Umara has preceded all those men in courage. Hazrat Umayyah Umara said, O Prophet of Allah, I sacrifice my parents for you. Please pray that I have your companionship in heaven. The Holy Prophet prayed loudly, O Allah, make them my companions in heaven. Hazrat Umayyah Umara was so thrilled, she spontaneously proclaimed, now, I don't care about any worldly miseries. Once the battle had ended, the Holy Prophet did not go home until he had confirmed that Hazrat Umayyah Mara was doing well. The Holy Prophet used to say, On the day of Uhud, wherever I looked, I saw Umayyah Mara fighting. The companions of the Holy Prophet had great respect for Hazrat Umayyah Mara and used to call her the woman of Uhud. Once during the caliphate of Hazrat Umar, precious clothing items were compiled as treasure from the war. One of these items was a beautiful embroidered shawl. When it was time to distribute this treasure, Hazrat Umar asked the audience, who deserves the shawl the most? Some people suggested the shawl be given to Abdullah's wife. Hazrat Umar considered this for a while and then said, no, I will give this shawl to Umm Umara. She deserves it the most because after the battle of Uhud, I heard the Holy Prophet say, on the day of Uhud, I saw Umm Umara fighting by my side, left, right, and center. Hazrat Umar then sent the shawl to Hazrat Umm Umara, who was living in her last days in a house in Medina. Hazrat Umm Umara, may Allah be pleased with her, was extremely devoted to the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and was always ready to sacrifice her life for him. Once, when the Holy Prophet was visiting her, Hazrat Umm Umara offered him some food. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, asked her to join him. She said, Messenger of Allah, I am fasting. The Holy Prophet said, Angels send the rood on those who fast if a person eats in front of them. This heroine woman will always be the symbol of bravery and heroism for generations to come. May Allah raise her status in heaven. Amen.